Okay, so now we have a bit of adjustments on the eyes. I have two adjustment layers, Mark. So we click here on your develop adjustment brush, this one. And then we have one exposure. Do what that the eyes will begin brighten, the, the, the bags on the eyes will begin brighten. You can use bracket buttons to break on your brush, smaller or larger to mark. Now in this step, I'm going to make some of it easier to use to break. My brush smaller and larger to mark. And then um, feather is big for now, so flow is okay there, density is okay there, and auto mask off. Okay, so now I'm going to adjustment to the mark. Can you see what I'm doing? So you hold the tricky O button like Oscar, and then see the the mask over what you know net to do net. And of course, the more you drag, the more you go to line, the more you emphasize the rock that. Okay. So I'm gonna do the adjustment this one mark. This one, what mark? And this is on the exposure. So the slight of the exposure adjustment at the beginning. Okay. So now I click the O button on the left to fit, and I hold my mouse over and I drag it links and rechts. And you shall see, I bring exposure up, 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 off, with up, 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 my bags out to bring. I can wear that over again and begin no harder pain that over, and bring it no more out. So as we now look at the full image, for the image, and I can see the settings on and off set. So we also see settings on. You saw some off. You see settings on. You saw off. You can see now that the plane begins to feel now to do. Do also more. You know, it's for the video basis you would it work or not work. It's like an a little bit better do also as what they do also is. Okay. So the second thing what I'm going to do, I'm going to begin the worst scar for Mark. So I'm going to get two to one two. Now, as I now it's here, so do do I get a pair of fuller brushes? Also, I put a new brush. I click and I select sharpness, sharpness. And for that, I put my mask layer mark. It's very brackets. Or if you can do sorry size mark, the flow can be greater ways. The density can be greater ways. And the auto mask it on ways. Okay. So now I don't know what I do. I click the O button. It brings the mask up. So I clear the word bit in with the mask. Clear the word in with the mask. And I do not sell them with Daniel so it were and you refer to. So I need to work on Daniel too. Okay, let's just say work is ok. Work is ok so. Okay. And done. I set it out, set it off, and we can do it now resize. We take another cut to where the handle is. Okay, here's the handle for the for the sharpness. We take the O off. We take the mask off to set, and then and then adjust the sharpness. You shall see here so can the sharpness manually adjust, or you can drag it on the handle. So I'm going to clarity. Let me just bring it a little sharper. Afbring wat wat bieke die die oor dat skyn is vooral met swart en met een kleur. Oor skyn het klein bieke meer met die clarity af en die sharpness op. So as ons nou kyk na die oorspronkelijke foto, kyk daar ons oor skyn dit is daar so en dan kan ons die afset en dan sit minder skyn. Meer skyn en die bags uit, minder skyn. Ok. So with the right two brushes done, you then can use it actually save as a preset of it. You can also when is it now? No, not new. I see. You see, you can use it save as a preset. I can maybe forget the mask. But you can use the mask that is not yet made. Oh yeah, also save as a as a preset. When the sharpness is a bit up, hard, then the clarity is off. En dan kan je het zeven ze. Wat heb ik daar net gedaan? En ze preset. Zeven kan je dus een nieuw preset. Dan kun je dit volgende keer gebruiken als een van je preset masks ook. Oké, in de volgende video gaan we straks gaan wijzen hoe je het eerst applyt 
En toen apply op imports ook als een zo. 